listen, I've unplugged the Kaflugulator, but it's still making Kaflui. Why? I have no idea. But you invented it. I know, but I don't remember why. I want to say shoe polisher. Really? Polish shoes with this? Maybe it has a cold or a virus. Are you thinking antivirus? I'm thinking antibiotics. JD, when are you going to clean up this mess? It's not a mess. I prefer to call it organized chaos. We can't even sit down. Who needs chairs when you can stick to the wall? This is ridiculous, but also surprisingly comfortable. <laughs> Guys, my clutterphobia is gonna start if I don't get out of here. Was so cool! Let's do it again! Done! I need to lie down! That's it! How can I conduct serious science experiments in these conditions? JD, clean up this mess! and use it to store all my stuff. It's never been done before. And maybe there's a reason why. How are you going to create this mini universe exactly? Simple, string theory and the fabric of reality. Is it me or is this a really, really stupid idea? All matter is made of particles. These particles are made of tiny strings, much smaller than the parts of an atom's nucleus. These strings vibrate at a specific frequency unique to our universe. So change the frequency and you create a different universe. That's my idea. What could possibly go wrong? Want a list? Wouldn't it be simpler to have a yard sale? You're forgetting one tiny thing. It's just a theory. Nobody has ever created a mini universe. I admire your effort, JD, but... <laughs> care what you do, just get rid of this stuff! I don't know about this. Some of mankind's greatest minds have tried to prove this theory. How can my little brother be the one to solve it? You were saying? Uh, guess you're not the only one with big brains, A-N-G. How long is this bragging going to last? I need to get back to my experiment. Oh, I'd say another 20 minutes. What's the experiment? Determining the electrical conductance of fossilized tree resin. Oh, that doesn't sound boring at all. Say, where's my notebook? Uh, kids? I know I set it down right here. And where's my imaging sensor camera? I don't want to alarm anyone, but... Now, where did I put my chitograph pencil? Guys, can we get back to me and my awesome achievement creating my mini universe? Is it my imagination? Or did we have more furniture than this? JD's mini universe is growing! JD, you forgot to take cosmic expansion into account! Oh yeah, I knew there was something I'd forgotten. But look, it's much tidier in here. Any ideas about what to do with this? I'm glad that's over with. No, no, no! Come back! Okay, so I admit, I don't know everything about mini universes after all. Now I feel better. Oh, oh, what if we made a time machine and. Stop right there! Think we can find Von Bolt using sonar? What about gravitational triangulation? We need some real help here. Mr. Edison? For years, scientists have pondered the existence of alternative universes, but it's only been a theory. That is one scary theory. Perhaps Niels Bohr, 
the father of modern day quantum mechanics will have some ideas. Moonbolt, we need the virtual reality. Oh, yeah. You're a Professor Nails Bar! I know, but it is always good to get a second opinion. What are you doing? This is the model of a hydrogen atom. I invented this. You invented hydrogen? Yeah, right, invented hydrogen. You did make some discoveries about how atoms are built, right? That is what I just said, young man. I'm just messing with you, dude. <laughs> yes, just messing. Very funny. Your friend is very... Just be glad you're not related to him. Professor Bohr, what do you know about mini-universes? We made one using string theory. I made one using string theory. And now it's kind of consuming our universe? Well, on an atomic level, particles can be in more than one place at any one time. Until you see it, a single particle can be considered both everywhere and nowhere. And that's going to help us how? <laughs> Let me show you. Your friend, the other girl, where is she? Nikki's right there. Because you can see her. Now close your eyes. Now tell me where she is. How do we know if we can't see her? Exactly. Until you open your eyes and decide where she is, she's considered both nowhere and everywhere. So what's that got to do with JD's mini-universe? Angie, it's so simple. We close our eyes and pretend it's not there, right? Is he ever quiet? I live in hope. Atomic particles do not obey the laws of physics. They are random and unstable. Just like you know who. Atomic particles can suddenly pop into existence, then disappear. So JD's mini-universe popped into existence because particles and strings do not obey the laws of normal physics. Yes, and it may have opened an infinite number of other universes. But if you can collapse the first one, everything will return to normal. Thanks, Professor! Was Professor Bohr helpful? He says JD is random and unstable. And that the mini-universe does not obey the laws of physics. And... Let go of my ears! I think I've decided where I'm going on vacation. What are you doing? Oh, a science experiment. Professor Bohr said many universes could have infinite variations. So the boat could be anywhere. What are we waiting for? Definitely not home. I had the same dream again last night. Only this time, I was a root vegetable. I'm so late. So very, very late. Out of my way. No sign of Von Bolt here either. <gasps> Through there. Come on. Work on that accent. We do not look cool like this. 
Could I grab a little snack for the trip home? No time. Come on! Whoa! Are we here? Are we home? Now what do we do? Professor Bohr said we have to collapse JD's mini-universe. But how? Reverse the way I created it in the first place. Hurry! We don't have much time! It's working! So, about that yard sale. Don't go away. There's another episode coming up next. Control, control, control. Out of, out of, out of control. Out of, out of, out of control. Subscribe to Cartoon Channel.